Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, anywhere in the northeastern part of the USA. We're talking D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York. I don't know about Boston, but up in those areas and maybe other places too, but I don't know because I'm not from those places. Pickup ball is a serious business. You don't play around with pickup ball. Even the dudes who ain't like serious players, like not, I can't even call them not serious. Players who don't, they're not aspiring to play nowhere. Like they're not trying to play college ball. They might be that age, but not trying to play in college. They might be 25 or 35. They're not trying to play overseas or nothing like that, but they play ball every single day. They get off work, go straight to the court to go play ball. They don't have work, it's a holiday, it's a weekend, they right at the courts playing ball. And when they play, in, play pickup or playing a league or playing a tournament or something like that, they take it just as serious as somebody who plays ball for money. And if any of y'all ever play pickup, you know, sometimes I might be playing pickup with some people and people start arguing over calls and somebody be like, man, everybody calm down. We ain't playing for money. You know, ain't nobody getting paid out here to play. The dudes out there didn't want to hear that shit. Like, if you was out there playing, it was serious fucking business. And when I was growing up, like, as a teenager, playing pickup with the older dudes, they wasn't out there trying to nurture you or, or take you under their wing or teach you or none of that shit. Like, if you was out there on their team, they expected you to do your job. And if you was messing up on defense, messing up on offense, missing open shots, blowing layups, turning the ball over, just not being able to play, they wouldn't pick you up no more and they wouldn't go to you after the game and be like look next time that happens do this and do that all the years that i played pickup ball when i was growing up as a teenager i could tell you i could count on my hand on one hand how many times that happened like some older player came to me after the game or during the game and said look look next time that you get the ball go here and when this happens do this look don't get discouraged about this maybe five times ever in years and years hundreds of pickup games that ever happened with one of the older guys if i messed up i get eye rolls people saying shit to me people on my team get glaring at me not picking me up no more the next time they see me play because they didn't care about none of that it was dead serious business so one day playing in my in my neighborhood park i think it was a saturday or a sunday i think it was a sunday like morning dudes would come play ball sunday morning and it was a couple guys in the neighborhood who always teamed up together these three dudes they would always team up together and they would go out and they would kind of beat everybody they had one dude who's like a point guard and they had one guy's like a wing score another dude was like a big man down the paint they would always team up together and then they would pick up two other players who they hand selected and then they would go out and just run the court all day so one day the pickup games was like serious serious all dudes who was like in their primes I'm talking like 20s maybe early 30s at the latest all in their primes, all going at it, and these dudes is all talking shit. And the games used to get so serious at the park that people will come from other parks, like other parts of the neighborhood. They would drive up to our playground just to play ball at our park because they knew the games was going to be for real and they knew it was good players out there. So these dudes is talking shit, talking shit, all game talking shit. And there was some guys that was, and it was normal for people to talk shit because we seen the same people every day. So you know when they talking shit, even when they get heated, you know they're like, they know each other. So it's only going to go but so far like a shoving match maybe at the worst but this day this pickup game it was some dudes who wasn't from our neighborhood i never seen these dudes before they had never been around there before and they're playing against the best dudes from our neighborhood the dudes who talk the most shit who win the most games they're playing against them these guys who was like the, they had their own little big three in the neighborhood so there's a, a bunch of shit talking going on in this game finally the big three team they win like on a like the score was like tied it went down to the last bucket and the big three team, they won the game. And they're still talking shit with these other dudes. Now, mind you, they don't know these guys. And these guys don't know them. Nobody knows these other guys because they're not from around there. But they're doing all this, you know what I mean? The normal shit talk that happened in our neighborhood. People would talk a whole bunch during the, during the games while they planned. And everybody would leave that day. And the next day, you might be on that person's team again, right? Because it's pickup. Because you could get picked up on whoever's club. So it was over. But these cats who had lost... They leave the park because they had just lost and they knew they would have to wait like an hour or two before they could get on the court again because it was packed at the park that day. So these dudes leave. The dudes that won, they went and sat down on the bench to take a little bit of a break before their next game. So he's sitting on the bench and everybody's kind of talking about the game and all the, us younger kids, we just shooting around, talking about what we saw on the court. We just, just watching this shit. And one of the dudes from the team that lost, he walked back up to the gate. Now, they're outside of the gate because they had went to their cars. Like, we thought they just driving off and leaving. But one of the dudes didn't drive off. He came back, and he stood outside the gate to the park. And y'all know, like, the chain link 
fence next to a basketball court. So he stands next to the gate. And he has, and everybody kind of seen him. And when people seen him standing there, he wasn't saying that. He was just standing there. And everybody kind of looked like, all right, what do you want? He's standing there just looking like he want somebody to look at him or say something. So everybody started to stop talking. And everybody's just looking at the dude. And dude had a duffel bag, like, strapped across his, across his shoulder, right? With the shoulder strap, the duffel bag. And as everybody's looking at him, out of his duffel bag, this dude pulls this big-ass gun out the bag. And this is one of them big guns. This is not, like, the kind of gun you can stick in your pants. This is the kind of gun, like, if y'all saw The Wire, you know, the gun Omar used to carry around? This is a gun like that. It was one of them long joints, like, the length of your arm, long gun. It wasn't that long. It's probably like the length of like from my fingertip to my elbow when I got long arms. It was a pretty, it was a big gun. He, he had to keep it in his duffel bag, right? So he pulls the gun out the duffel bag. He pulls it out enough that you could see the whole gun and that everybody could see that it is a gun. He pulls it out and he looks over at the big three dudes that just beat him. He was like, yeah, y'all still think I'm playing? And he just looked at him. He didn't say nothing. He put the gun back in his bag and he turned around. He walked away. He drove off. Now, the dudes who he was talking shit to, the big three, look, ain't nobody had no gun with them out there, so it couldn't have been no gunfight. Like, if dude wanted to just start shooting, we would have just had to start running because ain't nobody have no gun. We was all just playing ball. So one of the dudes from the big three team, like, dude walks away. Like, dude walks away, everybody was just quiet. Ain't nobody say shit. It was just quiet as shit for, like, a minute. You think, like, a minute of silence with a whole bunch of people. That's a long time. Nobody said nothing. Dude drives off with the gun. Dude with the gun drives off. One of the dudes from the big three, he goes inside the gym building, apparently to make a phone call. We didn't know why he went in. He just went in the building for like two minutes and he came back out and they kept playing ball. So while they keep playing, some random dude comes into the park. He comes in. He didn't stop the game. He came in. But he had on like full clothing. He had on like a jeans, some tent, some sneakers, a jacket. And this is the middle of the summertime. Mind you, we outside playing pickup ball in tank tops and, and shorts. This dude had on long pants. A jacket in the middle of the summertime and he just leans against the light pole next to the court and he just stands there nobody said nothing to him he didn't say nothing to nobody he wasn't making eye contact with nobody he was just standing there and I didn't know who he was so everybody keeps playing but one of the other kids that was my age said to me yo that's dude's brother like the dude who went in the building to make the call that was his brother he had called the dude was standing there and he had a jacket on we know why he had on the jacket because he was concealing something that he didn't want to he didn't want to have it out in the open, but he was concealing some protection just in case dude with the big gun came back. He'd be ready for his ass. But dude with the big gun never came back. But that was the first time I seen the games get that serious. But later on in different parks that I played at, I seen it get like that or people make threats and shit like that because the games were serious like that. And this is why I say, I mean, I live in Miami now. When I played pickup ball in Miami, it ain't as serious as a pickup ball in Philly or New York or D.C. because the regular dudes i'm not talking about the dudes who play pro or overseas or college and none of that i'm talking about the regular everyday dudes who work nine to five but then they play pickup for fun in philly those dudes take the game serious as shit where down here they don't take it as serious not as many of them it's, it's still some that take it serious but not like it is where i'm from in philly so that was when the guns got pulled on the court but i want to tell you how all of this the stuff that i learned on the court the mental stuff that I learned on the court, like the shit talking, dealing with people who took it real serious and how to hold yourself down. How did all that, how did I apply all that to what I was doing professionally in ball and professionally as a business person? All that's going to be addressed in my new book. It's called Work on Your Game, Using a Pro Athlete Mindset to Dominate in Business, Sports, and Life. It's coming out February 22nd. It's like three weeks from now. Go to the link down there. Pre-order that book. If you do that, I got a bunch of bonuses I'm going to give you for free and stick to I've been writing more than I've been doing. Obviously, you know, I don't need to do videos like that anymore, but I am going to do videos when I remember. I forgot to do one yesterday. But when I remember, I'm going to do videos like this, tell you all these stories, and we'll see what happens if I continue to make videos or not. But just look me up, Dre All Day. I know how to find me. I'm easy to find. I'm everywhere. Work on your game, Dre All Day.